he was going at me. Mm. He was going at me. Yeah. And I knew for sure he was going at me. That's why I went at him. It's yeah. no reason for me to go at Floyd. Yeah. My That's dad, what I was I'm at that point where I started past him. Mm. And I and I'm doing it at a young age. Wait, like when Floyd was 20, uh, 29. You'll see, bro. Yeah. That deal that I'm talking about. Yeah. Oh, that's that the, deal, that's a part that's of the deal. He ain't, he don't know about that yet. Mm. But that's bigger than his deal. Damn. Wow. <laughs> and y'all just and I'm. Colonel Moten has stepped up to challenge Gravanta Davis following a recent clash between Davis and Moten's mentor, Floyd Mayweather. The tension has escalated beyond their initial disagreement, with Davis removing Moten from his undercard lineup. As the rivalry intensifies, Moten is poised to defend his mentor's honor on the Tank versus Frank Martin undercard. Kermel Moten, a rapidly rising star and the youngest signer of Mayweather Promotions, has finally spoken out about the ongoing conflict between Gervonta Davis and Floyd Mayweather. Kermel Moten has maintained a strong bond with his mentor, Floyd Mayweather, as well as with a former protege of the boxing legend. This relationship dynamic has ignited significant controversy in the boxing world, drawing opinions from numerous boxing figures, including Shakur Stevenson and several other industry professionals. The confrontation between Floyd Mayweather and Gervonta Davis escalated following Mayweather's social media post critiquing the newer generation of boxers. Mayweather challenged the focus of these young fighters, emphasizing their pursuit of money over the true essence of boxing. He lamented that they only see his success as a finished product, disregarding the years of hard work he invested to reach that point. Mayweather expressed frustration, stating, many times these fighters are fixated on the materialistic aspects of my life, the cars, the flashy lifestyle, instead of understanding the sacrifices I made. Even when Mayweather was a champion with millions in the bank, he remained dedicated to his craft, consistently putting in the hard work at the gym. He admonished the current crop of boxers for their misplaced priorities, admonishing, instead of focusing on your appearance and material possessions, focus on your skills. Many of you are living paycheck to paycheck because you're concerned about the wrong things. Davis, interpreting Davis's comments as veiled jabs directed his way, swiftly fired back on Instagram, lambasting his former mentor, Gervonta. He argued that Mayweather's concerns should lie elsewhere, particularly in extricating himself from purported captivity in Dubai. Reposting Mayweather's diatribe, Davis launched a succinct assault, denouncing Mayweather's remarks as baseless. This guy spouts all this nonsense from Dubai, unable to leave because he's been swindling people out of their money, failing to deliver on promises, Davis retorted. Mayweather retaliated promptly on April 26th with a series of videos insinuating Davis's alleged lack of masculinity. This ignited a whirlwind of exchanges between the revered boxing icon and his once protege, spiraling into unexpected chaos when Ryan Garcia revealed a startling truth, Gervonta Tank. Davis had a close relationship with Floyd Mayweather's daughter, Yaya Mayweather. Unveiling hidden layers, Garcia's assertions hinted at a deeper reality, shedding light on the alleged romantic entanglement between Davis and Mayweather's daughter, a revelation that had remained concealed from many boxing enthusiasts. Him. He always been like that. I gotta focus on what I'm focusing on. He already did. He already did what he had to do, bro. For sure. I ain't gonna lie. Me, if I had, if I did what I like, if, like what he did in the sport, I ain't gonna lie. I'd be the same way. Yeah. This recent clash stirred tensions between Yaya Mayweather and Tank Davis, and the latest commentary on this escalating feud emerges from 17-year-old Kermel Moten. Many speculate Moten's words stem from a place of personal hurt and discontentment, stemming from an issue he had with Gervonta Davis regarding Davis's upcoming bout against Frank Martin on June 15th. As Moten delves into the ongoing feud, he unmistakably aligns himself with his mentor, addressing Davis's tweet with fervor. Moten's resolve doesn't waver as he continues in another tweet, I'm coming for you and your accolades. Disrespect doesn't elevate anyone. All of this arose after Kermel Moten sent his fans and followers a collage of images showing him and Floyd Mayweather Jr. working out at the gym. 
An additional image had the unbeaten former world champion helping Moten put on his glove. Kermel Moten radiated unmistakable joy at the mentorship and backing he'd garnered from a boxing luminary, hailing it as the apex of boxing alliances. However, his euphoria was swiftly dampened by a retort from Gervonta Davis, now donning the mantle of Abdul Wahed, the reigning World Boxing Association lightweight champion. Davis dashed Moten's hopes of featuring on the June 15th roster. While many pondered the reason behind Davis's brusque dismissal, it appeared Moten had inadvertently leaked details about his upcoming bout. Disappointingly, Moten announced he wouldn't be stepping into the ring come the 4th, despite expressing gratitude for the unwavering support. Nonetheless, he vowed to dazzle when the time came, promising an unforgettable spectacle. It seems Kermel Moten dropped a hint about appearing on the June 15th Gervonta Davis versus Abdul Wahid Frank Martin undercard. While details on other fights remain scarce, the upcoming PBC Amazon Prime event promises a showdown between David Benavidez and Oleksandr Usyk in his debut light heavyweight bout. The rift between the boxing legend and his former protege seems to be spilling over to other platforms, with Tank Davis's tweet about Floyd Mayweather Jr being stranded in Dubai due to financial issues, sparking speculation. Davis's reaction to Moten's involvement in the undercard could be attributed to this tension. Back in 2015, just as they once nurtured the young Giovanna Davis into a world championship level contender, Team Mayweather embraced another promising prodigy. It's disheartening to witness the souring of the relationship between Giovanna Davis and Kermel Moten who once looked up to him with admiration and sought to emulate his success. Not long ago, a user shared a glimpse of nine-year-old Kermel Moten sparring with 10-year-old Robert Merriweather, while Floyd Mayweather shadowboxed in the adjacent ring. The caption hinted at Mayweather's legendary presence, bearing witness to the early aspirations of these young talents. Kermel Mitchell, whose professional record now includes three fights and two knockout wins, quickly intervened to rectify this story, showcasing his attention to detail both inside and outside of the ring. Moten swiftly corrected the tweet, pinpointing that it was Tank, not Floyd, in focus. This succinct amendment redirected attention from Mayweather to Gervonta Davis, a significant figure in the boxing realm and an integral part of Mayweather's training setup. Kermel, having once sparred with Davis, reminisced fondly about their intense session, shedding light on their electrifying exchanges. Reflecting on a pivotal sparring experience with Davis, Moten recalled the nerve-wracking anticipation of facing off against the boxing prodigy at the tender age of 15. Despite initial jitters, the encounter unfolded as a graceful exchange of skill and speed rather than a clash of brute force. We were both in sync matching speed for speed, Moten reminisced, highlighting the mesmerizing rhythm of their sparring session. Moten's account defied anticipation as Davis refrained from unleashing his full might. Rather than aiming to knock Moten out, Davis approached the session with a calculated restraint. Moten likened the encounter to a chess match, characterized by strategic maneuvers and intellectual exchanges. It proved to be a captivating and enlightening experience for the budding boxer. At just eight years old, Kermel Moten stepped into the renowned Mayweather Gym, where he honed his boxing prowess under their guidance. Hailing from Salt Lake City, this young fighter sculpted his talents over the years, culminating in an impressive amateur record. However, it was on September 30th of last year when his journey took a significant turn. Stepping into the professional arena, Moten showcased remarkable finesse, skill, and unyielding resilience against Anthony Cuba. Their bout, part of the Tim Tzu vs. Sebastian Fundora undercard, was a clash of undefeated prospects, yet Moton's slick style and unwavering determination captured the hearts of fans worldwide. His performance earned him not just victory, but also the admiration and applause of many. At just 17 years old, Moten found himself pitted against a seasoned 21-year-old opponent in Cuba. Despite the age gap, Moten showcased his prowess, exiting the T-Mobile arena on March 31st with his unblemished record intact. The judges unanimously scored the bout 80, 
72 in Moten's favor, pushing his record to a solid 3. 0. Hailing from Los Angeles, Moten exhibited a level of maturity that belied his years. This was his first foray into an eight-round fight, yet he displayed remarkable sharpness and physical conditioning throughout. Moten didn't shy away from taking the fight to Cuba, boldly engaging in exchanges and asserting himself as the aggressor from the opening bell. His relentless pace endured over the full eight rounds, cementing his status as a promising talent in the boxing world. Furthermore, Moten exhibited remarkable resilience when he absorbed two powerful blows from Cuba in the seventh round. Undeterred, he pressed on, delivering relentless barrages of punches. Moten's adept use of left combinations and precise counterpunches inflicted significant damage, securing him a resounding unanimous victory. His performance led spectators to liken him to a celebrated boxer renowned for his prowess and devastating blows. At just 17 years old, Moten holds the top spot in the USA rankings, boasting an impressive 18 amateur titles, likely surpassing all others in the sport. During the weekend, Kermel Moten stepped into the ring for the third time in his professional career, facing off against the seasoned Anthony Cuba. Despite facing an opponent much older and with more experience, Moten persevered, taking the fight all the way to the scorecards and emerging victorious. This marked a significant milestone for Moten, as it was the first time one of his matches had gone to the scorecards. His previous two fights had ended with impressive knockout victories. Following this latest triumph, Moten found himself inundated with praise and support particularly from his idol and the owner of the promotional team he belonged to, none other than Floyd Mayweather Jr. Following the match, Mayweather took to the interview spotlight, fielding questions on the Anthony Cuba versus Kermel Moten L showdown. Amid inquiries about Moten and their bond, Mayweather confidently addressed Moten's resounding victory. I'm hardly shocked. It's precisely what we've strategized for. Moten's trajectory toward the summit has been evident to anyone who's observed his journey, he remarked. When discussing Moten's demeanor, Mayweather showered him with accolades. He remarked on Moten's humility, noting his tendency to remain grounded and focused. Mayweather stressed the importance of dedication and discipline, emphasizing that success requires staying humble and maintaining a low profile. Reminiscing about their conversation, Mayweather advised Moten on the long journey ahead, highlighting the insignificance of amateur records compared to professional achievements. With just three fights under his belt, Moten still has much ground to cover in the professional realm, warranting a low-key approach to his career. So that's all from today's video. If you enjoyed it, remember to leave a like, subscribe, and ring that bell icon so you never miss our upcoming videos. And don't forget to share your thoughts in the comments section. Stay tuned and we will catch you in the next video.